What's going on guys? Alex here with the Fastlane Car and I'm here in the studio today with our 2012 Porsche Cayenne. Now the whole plan with this car is to turn it into a Trans-Siberia. The Trans-Siberia was a much more off-road worthy version of the Cayenne. It was only made on the first gen Cayenne. This is a second gen. So in this video, we're gonna start the process of transforming this Cayenne into our very own Trans-Siberia. And that starts with probably the most important part, which is wheels and tires. So over here, we have a set of some more off-road worthy tires. But first, before we mount those, we have to make them look the part, make it look like a Trans-Siberia. So we have some Plasti Dip. In this video, we're gonna make these wheels look like they fit on a Trans-Siberia, get them mounted up, and that will be step one of converting the TFL Cayenne into a Trans-Siberia. Here's what's currently on the Cayenne. These are Achilles ATR Sport Tires, and this is a 295-35 R21, so not a ton of sidewall, not a ton of tread, not exactly what we're looking for on our Trans-Siberia. So here's what's gonna be going on the Cayenne. These are Falcon Wild Peak Tires, and this is a 255-55 on a 19-inch wheel. So we're going down in wheel size, and that gives us some more sidewall and some better tread. Now, here's the real interesting part about these tires is that logo right there. These are snow rated, so you can tell by looking at the sipes that are cut into the tread pattern, these should perform really well in the snow. So let's roll one of these in, take a look just get a little preview of what it's gonna be like. So not a perfect representation, but it gives you a little bit of an idea of what this will look like when it's all mounted up. They're not too much taller than the stock tires, just a little bit, but it's more the sidewall and the tread that's gonna make the world of a difference. And we'll definitely be doing lots of testing off-road with these tires in some future videos. First, I have to go clean them because these wheels are filthy. The Plasti Dip won't stick to that. So I got some aluminum wheel cleaner. These are aluminum wheels. So I'm gonna load these up, take them over to the car wash, give them a good spray down and get them nice and shiny and ready to be sprayed with Plasti Dip. All right, all loaded up. Any kind of paint or Plasti Dip project is all about the prep work, so that's why I spent so much time at the car wash trying to get these clean. I think the fronts look pretty good. I went through about three or four rounds with the pressure washer and the spray on wheel cleaner. Also, two rounds with the brush and then about an hour going through by hand, scrubbing these all down with a microfiber. They're not perfect. You can see the inside of the wheels still have some grime on them, but it's much better than before. And I think if I put the Plasti Dip on thick enough, we won't have any peeling issues. If we were going down the route of painting or maybe powder coating these wheels, I would spend a lot more time trying to get these perfectly clean, but this is Plasti Dip after all. It's not permanent and it's the cheapest way to change the color of your wheels. So I did want to do a decent amount of prep work, but I'm not gonna to stress too hard over it. It's been a few days since I cleaned these wheels off. We're now on day two of this Plasti Dip project, turning these wheels to orange. Before I start painting, I need to get the rest of these wheel weight stickers off. I already did it over on this wheel. I first tried using some Goo Gone and a knife scraping it off, but that didn't work too well. So I figured out that gasoline actually works really well with a paper towel. So it's super easy to get it off with gasoline. I'm gonna do that right now. I put some trash bags down, that way I don't plastic up the garage floor here at TFL. But I'm pretty much all ready to go. I'm gonna use these index cards to mask the edge of the wheel, that way I don't plastic dip the tire. I'm also gonna use some tape to cover up the valve stems. And then the plan is to do 
two coats of white as a base coat and then jump into the orange. I'm hoping for three coats of orange. And then I also have some black Plasti Dip. You'll notice that the center caps are all punched out, so we're gonna do the center caps black just to give it a little bit of depth and texture, change the colors up a little bit so it's not just pure orange. I think it'll look pretty good like that. But anyway, here comes the fun part. We're ready to start spraying and actually change the color of these wheels to orange. Let's get to it. First coat of white is down. You can see I put it on super light and that's because I've used this stuff before and I know that it likes to run and it's basically a rubber coating. So when it starts to run, it gets really messy and there's no saving it. So I'm doing really light coats. I said I was gonna do two base coats of white, but judging by how light this first coat was, I may have to do three. We'll see what it looks like after the second one. Second coat of white is on. I'm definitely gonna need another coat. You can see there's still some areas where the gray wheels are poking through. These wheels have a lot of angles to them. From the top, they look pretty white, but I couldn't spray too much because I wanted to avoid runs. So I'm gonna need to go in with another coat, touch some of that up, and then we can flip it over and put white on the backside. Alright, base coat is down on the back side as well, so these are ready for orange, but it's getting dark out, day's almost over, so I'll pick up in the morning. Alright, we're back, it's day two of the Plasti Dip project, so let's get back to it. starting to get a better idea of what these are gonna look like when they're all finished and they are starting to look awesome. I'm super happy. Couple of splatters over on this wheel here. I'm hoping they'll cover up nicely. Shouldn't be able to tell too much. You can see a little bit of splatter there and that's cause I had a can failure. So I'm not using that can anymore. Luckily I've got some extras. So I should still be all good. I'm gonna keep adding some coats. One more can has failed me and it's pretty much full. Front sides are looking awesome. Coverage is pretty good. The insides are still pretty white, so I'm gonna flip them over, spray down the insides, and then I'll do some touch up on the front side with whatever orange Plasti Dip I have left over. And that's a wrap for spraying. These look super vibrant. They're incredibly bright. I don't know how easy it is to tell on camera, but you can see these from a mile away. It is pretty crazy. The coverage is pretty good. There's a few areas where it's a little bit light, but I'm not too concerned about it. We're gonna be using these. They're gonna get dirty. They'll get scraped up on rocks when we're off-roading, so it's not a huge deal. I'll show you what I went through. Took about four coats on both the front and the back side of the wheels. I went through three and a half cans of white. These three are empty. There's a half full one right over there. Three full cans of Blaze Orange. And then these three cans of Blaze Orange are all more than halfway full of paint, but they're, I'm guessing, old cans and the aerosol leaked out, so they won't spray anymore. So only made it a little bit with those three cans. And then these two just completely exploded and they are coming out like splatter paint. So I stopped using those. So all in all, we bought eight cans of Blaze Orange and only 
three of them worked properly. So that's kind of my gripe with Plasti Dip. Can be a little bit tricky sometimes, and rattle cans are not always the best for painting large parts like this, but we made it work. It looks pretty good, so I'm gonna give these a few hours to dry. I'll pull the Porsche in, we'll get it jacked up, and throw these wheels on, see how it looks. All right, the Cayenne's in park. Set the parking brake. I'm gonna start with the fronts up there, so chalk the rear wheels. All right, they're all mounted up. I got all the lugs tightened down to 118 foot-pounds, which is what the manual asks for. So let's back it out into some sunlight and get a better picture of this. How cool is that, guys? That looks awesome. Out in the daylight, it is super, super bright. I couldn't have asked for a better result. Of course, there's a few blemishes here and there, but you have to get super close to even notice that. And it's Plasti Dip after all. It's not permanent. We wanted to do this pretty cheap. It was a fun project, and I'm really excited to see this thing with these bright orange wheels off-roading, going through the snow. So if you're interested in seeing some of that content, make sure you stay tuned to TFL Car. Go back to tflcar.com for more news views and Trans Rockies reviews. This thing's gonna be awesome when it's all complete. This is just the first step.